What's up, folks? March 31st. It's late. I'll do a flash alert, though. Just saw the end of the Houston Rockets and the Chicago Bulls. Houston Rockets losing another just terrible game. They had a big lead for most of the game. Chicago came back. Big win for the Bulls as they keep their playoffs alive. <laughs> they really scratch and claw, and I got to tell you, I shouldn't laugh, but, man, that's one of those things you look at that could really uh, change the season around for the Bulls, but... Uh, as far as the Houston Rockets, of course, I'm looking like a fool. This was the team I picked to win the championship. And this is just another disappointing loss in a sputtering season that's just gotten way out of hand. I'm looking at the box score. You look at some of the starters in the plus minus. Uh, Monte Yunus, who only played 12 minutes, so that's why his numbers are a bit inflated, plus 23. Dwight Howard, who played 29 minutes, plus 14. Patrick Beverly, plus 13. Dwight, or, uh, excuse me, James Harden was actually minus 8. But we're going to talk about Dwight Howard. Only shot four shots, was three for four, had seven points. Again, 13 rebounds, so he was spectacular. But Michael Beasley who was minus 19 in the game, in 31 minutes, gets 18 shots. Did have 11 rebounds, but, I mean, the bench altogether was pretty terrible. Only four bench players played. Uh, Clint Capella, minus 21. Jason Terry, minus 7. And Corey Brewer, minus 12. Um, yeah, Ariza started. Ariza was plus 2, so not bad, but... uh. James Harden was the only starter in the negative in the plus-minus. Uh, all the bench players were in the negative. Jason Terry, the only one under 10 in the minus, or the minus 10, that is. I don't even know how you'd say that. So he was the only one who was not above minus 10, I guess. Is the way you'd say. He wasn't good. Let's just leave it at that, folks. But Dwight Howard, why is this guy only getting four shots? Now, personally, I like Dwight. I've always liked him. Um, I think in Orlando, while he wasn't um, the most mature, I think things were promised to him that um, you know we didn't know about as far as ownership. He opted in, whatever. It went down. But the guy's still averaging. He was at 11.9 rebounds before this game. So with 13 today, maybe he's above 12. But he still holds in rebounds. Got three blocks, so... The guy can still ball. I don't know why he can't get shots. I don't know what the deal is, but certainly um, the Celtics were talking about acquiring him over the trade deadline. They didn't. This is still a guy, I think, who's a game changer in the league, and I just don't know why Houston isn't utilizing him more on the offensive side of the ball. They're going to have James Harden, who shot you know, 40%, 8 for 20, not brutal, but was 2 for 7 from downtown. Why is James Harden getting 20 shots? Why is Trevor Ariza, who shoots 3 for 10, getting 10 shots? Why is Michael Beasley off the bench getting 18 shots and Dwight Howard is only getting four? Um, we'll see where Houston turns from this. They're now 37-39. and 39. I believe that will put them out of the playoff picture as of right now. Um, neither yeah, neither or, or, uh, Utah or Dallas is playing tonight. So those three teams were tied up at 37 and 38 coming in. Um, Team 7 through 9, so one of the teams was out of the playoffs. I believe it was Dallas, but they're all the same record, so now Houston falls out. And I don't know if they're going to make the playoffs. If they do, you know, they're probably going to get eliminated in the first round, but, you know, I got to confess, I really look like a fool. Ty Lawson was the reason I thought Houston was going to play much better, and he's not even on the team anymore. Uh, I really have always been a Ty Lawson guy. I thought the way he could... uh he could get a lot of easy hoops. He could help Dwight Howard get back to a, more of a dunking game in transition. The guy is super fast. He can carry a burden for James Harden, so uh, Harden doesn't have to carry so much of the scoring burden. And also get James Harden hoops in uh, transition as well. And a lot of the players, you have some shooters. You got guys like Ariza. You have the Jason Terry's who's coming off the bench. You know, Corey Brewers. I thought it would be a very good match, but obviously it wasn't in this team. You know, once they fired Kevin McHale, really got out of hand for them. So, another brutal loss for the Houston Rockets, and we will see where they go from here. All right, so that's it. Tomorrow is April 1st. We'll be doing our NBA programming, two NBA in-depths, and a player profile. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Remember, we appreciate all subscriptions that anyone could give. And we'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday, April 1st. Thank you all so much, and enjoy the rest of your Thursday evening.